finally, we go in with a few little accent accessories, and these just help to brighten and liven the space and add a little bit of interest on the bedsides. Hi guys, this week we have a jam pack episode for the week that was. Firstly, we will be learning how to style a master bedroom. We'll be checking out the house of the week in Nanda. We celebrated Nick and Alex's birthday and doing a walkthrough with Jay. Plus, we'll show you a few clips of our recent buying trip to Melbourne. Today we wanted to take you through step by step how to stage a master bedroom. The very first thing that we do is put on a valance on the base of the bed. So the valance is basically a fabric quilted sheet that covers the base of your bed and it gives you a really nice foundation for your mattress. Next we use white linen, so white duvet um, or quilt cover and quilt. We do use an insert because it gives you a nice feeling of plushness through the quilt and also white sheets. So white is very easy to maintain um, from a styling perspective and it is a fantastic base. So it works everywhere. You cannot go wrong with a nice crisp white linen set. So once we've outlaid our linen set, our quilt is on, our sheets are on uh, and we've got our two euros and two standards in this case. Everything gets ironed prior to placement. Ironing is really important because it gives you a nice finished feel. Uh, the first thing we put in would be the euros. So these are 60 by 60s. In a queen bed, we use two. In a king, we'll use three, sometimes four, depending on the feel of the space. So we set the euros uh, and then we set the standards in front of those. We have a lot of different combinations of cushions that we might do in terms of placement, but this is just your standard can't go wrong setting. So once these are in place, we're ready to go in with some deco cushions. So next we've got our deco cushions. These will always be uh, chosen based on the artwork and the colors that we're calling out. In this case, we've chosen to call out the sage colors, which we will see in the cushions and you'll also see it in other elements in the space as well. So for a master, we would typically use five, uh, even sometimes six deco cushions. And that is what allows you to get that really nice homey feel. So lots of combinations to go in with, um, but we've chosen some nice neutrals um, to put in there as bases. And then what we like to do is introduce that sage color in one of the front and a little bit more contrast with a deeper gray in there. So to finish off the bed, we've added a couple of throws. Um, these are two different textures and sizes. This one here is a bit more of a coverlet style and goes to create a bit more, bit of contrast against the white and helps to sort of really balance the cushions out as well. And then we just go in with a nice, uh, it's almost teddy bear throw. And this really ties in with that gray accent um, cushion there. And just again, gives you a little bit of plushness and nice sort of homey feel for a master bedroom. When we're choosing our bedside tables for the master, we like them to either be a little bit of a statement piece or a bigger sort of feel. In this case, because the wall space is not huge, we opted for these nice slim one ones, but they are very on trend with that scallop edging around the base and they tie really nicely in with the sages and the deco cushions and the artwork as well. Next, we go in with some bedside lamps. For a master room, we try to choose something that has a bigger bulk and scale, and that is so that it suits the size of a master suite. These lamps that we've chosen do reflect also the curvature and the lines within the artwork and just tie everything together really well. Finally, we go in with a few little accent accessories and these just help to brighten and liven the space and add a little bit of interest on the bedsides. So that's all we've got. That is how we create a nice, plush, luxurious master feel. Um, we'd love to see what you guys do with your spaces. Perched on just shy of 700 square meters is this elegant four bedroom Queenslander with an expansive floor plan and plenty of room for entertaining. Come inside and have a look at 59 Hampton Terrace in Nunda. She can't tell the difference yet. That's what you're coming for. But we'll drop you back to the door. It's getting late now, hey now. She sips the Coca Cola. That's what you're coming for. But I don't wanna let you be. We'll drop you back to the door. You're asking what's happening. It's getting late now, hey now. Enough of the arguments. She sips the Coca Cola. She can't tell the difference.
with some darker accents in the cushions and the accessories to give the home a nice contrast and also tie a nice little floor. So once again in the formal dining, we've kept the natural tender theme going. We've got these lovely wishbone chairs and again we've accentuated pops of green, pops of gold to really look at the space. So this is the master bedroom. So once again we've got lovely warm timbers in the floor which we've contrasted nicely with the cool tones in the cushions and the artwork. Um, and we've played to the strength of the timber by adding some washed bedsides as well. This is another one of the bedrooms. Um, we've got some lovely pastel colours in here, some soft pinks, um, and we just kept it really light, really airy, um, to create a lovely contrast from the warmth of the floor. Thanks so much for coming with me, guys. We'll see you next time. This is perfect. Perfect. Hello guys, today we are in Melbourne and it is freezing here but we are super excited because we are at the Salve which is one of our biggest trade partners and suppliers so we're pretty pumped about the new gear, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's been an awesome day. We've seen a lot of new stock that they're bringing in and um, we've got some good orders on so we look forward to seeing some new stuff coming over the next couple of months. So stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you check out the description box below where I've put all of our social media links and we'll see you next week.